So first today, out of our six for today, we have uh, Dale Francis. My name is Dale Francis, and it's the life is a deal on that. So basically, what we're going to be doing today is going through my whole life. Point. Two paper towels. All right, so look, this is what we got in the fridge as a D1 athlete. We so this. we got the jug, you know, got to stay hydrated. Got practice right after this. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave that in there. And then we got two eggs, bro. What kind of bull? It's like... Look at that. Life like he do you want to have. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking it up. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> A minute. Stage props. Stage props. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> Bro. Bro, what are you doing, bro? Can you hurry up? Nah, we're not sponsored by this, but you know, this is what I put on my stuff, so I gotta cover the Jimmy Dean. Nah, bro. Bro, what do, why, would you even, why would you present it? Okay. All right, so we're putting the mystery meat in. Kinda look like dog. Point blank. Point blank. He's drinking right out the jug, the milk jug. No, I'm joking. Just kidding. It's all water. <sighs> Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, man. We got practice today. Y'all don't see clips from that? D1. Fuck it. All right, so we got the finished product. Oh. We got the braid. We up. Pure concentration. Except for that one piece. But pure concentration right there. Yeah, I will jump. But um, we have a little speech for y'all about the recruiting process. A lot of people always ask how the recruiting process goes and how do you get looked at by coaches. First off, I'm not gonna lie to you. Stop spending money and going to Division One showcases with people or quote unquote college is sending you like they're interested in stuff. If it doesn't say your name specifically, don't go. Because my chance is just trying to use you to get money. And uh, the other tactics I saw was make sure everything's like put, like when they when they send an email to you, make sure it's on um, your name from the head coach or the assistant coach. That's how you know it's legit. You um, get one of those. And when you're going to a showcase, or not even showcase, but when you're going to events, be open minded. Because my first time I went, my dad, he told me straight up, he said, I don't know what where you stack up against competition or anything. So, first first showcase, I went to Division Three and Two. And I was there and they thought I was a JUCO transfer, a junior in college, but I was a sophomore in high school. So I was like, okay, they said you shouldn't be here. So I went up to division two and some JUCOs. I went there as well and they thought, not JUCOs, but division two. And they were like, yo, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. That type of thing. They thought I was also a sophomore in college, but I was a sophomore in high school. So I was like, all right, so that's two people. So let me go to division one. Went to division one and started seeing the talent that was stacked up at my level even higher. You have kids so good. And when I saw that, I was like, dang, all right, this is where I need to be at right here. And that's basically how my recruiting process started. I just went, looked at all, all levels of it, 
and kept an open mind. And when I went and performed good at ASU, they were like, they, they offered me right there on the spot, a couple home runs, and they were like, yo, we want you. And that rarely happens. So like, what I'm saying is for you guys to just keep an open mind, put your pride aside and look at all schools, all levels, all divisions. Because if you do that, you, you can take your game to the next level. It doesn't matter, Division One, Division Two, Division Three. As long as you get to play college ball. If you have the opportunity to play and learn more of the game, then now, after, what, three years, you could get drafted to MLB if you do well. Or not even three years. You could do um, Juco. You go two years and out. That's literally it. So All I'm saying is just keep open mind with everything, and y'all be straight. And that's my my opinion on how the recruiting process went. All right, y'all, we're going up the 50th tryout. The other two of them got rained down. So, um, right on time. Must be there early, but anyway, we running on black people's time. We got a little vlog, and now jump shoot. Charles won pretty decent, and we made the teams. We're about to go. And tomorrow's signing day. Y'all see that for? All right, today is February fifth, twenty twenty, and you know it's signing day. Let's get it. It's a great time to be an athletic director. We have some young men signing letters of intent to go on and play in college. Uh, I can't express how difficult it is for student athletes to reach the pinnacle of their high school career and end up signing a letter of intent to go on to play for college. The student athletes, what it is, it starts off with the student, the grades, everything else, and then the athletics in second. So I want to make sure we give uh, all our athletes a round of applause real quick. And I also want to have the honor of uh, introducing our proud principal of Fort Central, Ms. Buchanan. Yes, sir. Thank you, Coach Castro. I want to congratulate each and every one of you who have earned this scholarship to very prestigious schools, by the way. Enjoy your academic adventure. And when you are an athlete, you are now representing, you're always going to be representing Central. You know that, right? And then you're representing that new school. I know you're going to do fantastic. Your future is very bright. And parents, you did a great job. Thank you for everything. Thank you for raising such superior young men and women. We are proud of them, and I know you are absolutely proud of them too. Congratulations again, and I can't wait to hear from the parents and students. Thank you. So first today, out of our six for today, we have uh, Dale Francis. We're going to have Coach Reimer come up and say a few comments on Dale's behalf. <laughs> Uh, good morning. Um, Dale, you've been a pillar at first base for a long time, and I'm proud of you. You should be proud of your parents as well. Your parents did a good job raising you. Um, I know you're going to do well at the next level, so you need to really think about that. Give it your best. I know you're going to do fine. Good luck. Next, we have uh, his father, Dale Sr. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, and it's a pleasure. Uh, my wife said I was going to cry. <laughs> We 
gonna do fine, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> The effort. This young man, you know, you hear parents pushing kids. But I can honestly say, I haven't had to push them. I come home more tired. Like that, let's go to the field. Let's get some work. And I'm like, sure, let's go. But. But a lot of work. He's done great. He listened. You know, always tell him, follow your gut. If your gut tells you how to do something, don't do it. And say it one time, he does it. But, you know, on a brighter note, when he was maybe two years old, you know, I was working my second job and it was raining outside. He had his bottle, pulled out a little three inch tea. Oh, I'm sorry, three foot tea. And I'm minding my business. And he's just sitting there, whacking the ball from one side of the building to the other side. And I look back and I'm like, do that again. As a two year. He laughed, ran and did Whacked up and said, ah, I got you. And a couple months later, I signed him up T ball, playing with four year olds as a two year old. And I knew I had something. I had to push, push, you know, work him. You know, and at the same time, his sister was doing the same thing. I mean, we're here. I don't want to take too much of your time, but we're here. This is, thank you. <laughs> she, she jinxed me. She said I was going to do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the greatest feeling. You know, I always set out to do the best I can for my kids. You know, growing up as a you know, by a single parent, single mom, you know, the latchkey kid, that was me. And to be at this point now where, you know, this little guy has pretty much all the school paid for. You know, that's the greatest feeling. The greatest feeling. I'll leave that there before I break down. <laughs> from Dale. I want to first start off and thank my parents, especially. And he always wrote me, make sure I stay on the right track. And I'm just grateful for everyone that came into my life and showed me and kept me on the right track. And to all my teammates, man, you guys make practice fun, always joking around. And that's how I like it, just have fun and live it up. All you guys, sophomores, juniors, just keep working. Because you guys got talent, and that's all I can say. So I'm going to leave it at that. Can I can't get uh, his parents, mom up here, and family members to sign his letter of intent. International. 